If you've seen any of my other travel videos, then you probably know that I like to stay organized. This is mainly because I don't like any clutter in my head and I just like to enjoy myself. Decreasing static stress for me on vacation means having a good to-do list, a packing list, and a daily itinerary. If you're a chill person that doesn't like planning, this video is not made to stress you out. If anything, it will give you even more reason to chill because you know that the most important steps are taken care of. Why be running around when you can just chill? This Google Sheets will be available to download in the description below. It's completely free and I made it just for you, so have the best time on your vacation. Okay, let's get started. On the bottom of the Google Sheets, you're going to see some tabs. We have the Travel Research tab, Travel Budget tab, Expense Tracker, To-Do List, Packing List, Daily Itinerary, and another Daily Itinerary. Okay, let's start at the to-do list tab. If you want to make this spreadsheet view a little bigger, just go here to the top, click this little arrow, and then you can make it bigger. If you want to make it smaller, just go ahead and click that button again, and you can either type in a number or use one of the numbers they have already. Also, if you made a mistake, just click this little arrow right here, and it's going to undo what you just did. If you want to redo what you just did, click this button right here that says redo. This section is separated into five parts. Regular to-do list, when booking, one week before departure, one day before departure, and on departure day. The reason I separated it this way is because if everything is in the yellow box on the left, you might accidentally miss something important. Then you are scrambling later on. No thank you. For the when booking section, these are some items that I do so I don't have to do it later. My windows are already open so I might as well just do these items now instead of having to research for them later on. Let's close the loop. Once I finish the task, I'm going to click on the box and the words will be crossed out. These are the tasks that I personally like to do. I actually made another video on how to make a to-do list that actually works and I'll link it in the description below. Okay, let's move on to the packing list tab. Feel free to adjust these areas as to your liking. I personally need a lot of clothing and toiletries rows. I separated these areas into clothing, toiletries, documents, tech, accessories, carry-on liquids, vitamins and meds, and extra. Insert your item and the quantity. When you have it packed, check the box. The words will cross out and the cell will turn gray. I also added enough for six people because not everyone packs the same. I don't know if you need all that, but I made it for you anyways. Cheers! If you like what you see so far, there'll be plenty more resources that I'll be making, which you can find on my website, linked below. Okay, next is version 1 and version 2 of Daily Itinerary. The way my husband and I like to travel is we like to do one big adventure and then eat for the rest of the day. Our vacations are pretty chill, and we love it. Everyone always thinks that we would crazy pack our vacations, but really, life is already crazy pack. When we're on vacation, we like to chill. So version 1 is how I personally like to do my itinerary. Give me food and then we can just do some things. Just fill in the date, day of the week, estimated time, activity name, notes, and website links as needed. I made enough for 31 days in the month. If you scroll down, you will see the top row moves with you. If you scroll to the right, you will see that the left column moves with you. Gotta stay organized when you're on the move. But sometimes there are days where you just need to be really, really organized and on a strict timeline. And this is where version 2 comes into play. Let's click that tab. So this is the version where you can plan everything in 15 minute intervals, day by day. Just fill in your date in the pink row at the top. If you scroll down, you will see the top row moves with you. If you scroll to the right, you will see that the left column moves with you. This is cool because if you want to see what you did at day 13 at 3 p.m., you just scroll on over so you don't lose your place. Usually what I like to do with version 2 is leave it as my activities tracker, so it's like my diary in a way. Also, what you may notice is if you write a lot of stuff, it won't wrap text into one cell. I purposely did this so the rows and columns don't get all thick when you are scrolling. If you want to see what you did, then it will show up here at the top. If you liked this video and want to know my full step-by-step -step process of how I budget and plan for our vacations, then I'm going to link the full episode right here.